the yard equipment manufacturer we discussed in a previous example had a time constraint that they could not exceed 70 hours of production per week. Each mower requires four hours to produce, while rototillers require seven hours to produce, and we had the inequality 4m plus 7r is greater than or equal to 70. Now suppose that the same plant must stay in production at least 40 hours per week. Since they are still, as far as we know, only producing um, mowers and rototillers, well, we still know that 4m plus 7r must be less than or equal to 70. All right, they cannot exceed 70 hours, but now we must also have at least 40 hours. So four times the number of mowers, four hours per mower, seven hours per rototiller, must be greater than or equal to 40. So here's a system of inequalities that models the situation. Now, we had graphed earlier 4m plus 7r is less than or equal to 70. So we had, let's see, so 4m plus 7r is less than or equal to 70. That had an m intercept of what, 70 over 4. That's 17.5, so we had 17.5 comma 0, and an R intercept of 0, 10. So we had this point right about there, and this point here. We used a solid line, since it's an or equal to inequality. And we knew that we shade be, shade, uh, shaded below. Now, since we have what's called a system of inequalities, we don't do any shading yet. But what I'll do is I'll just sort of mark that if this were on its own, I would shade below that inequality, uh, that boundary. All right, now 4m plus 7r is greater than or equal to 40. The m intercept, letting r take the value 0, would give us 4m equals 40, which implies that m equals 10, so we would have 10, 0. And the r-intercept, letting m equal 0, would give us 7r equals 40, dividing through by 7, 40 divided by 7, is about 5.7. And so we would have the ordered pair 0, comma 5.7. All right, so drawing again a solid line through those points. Now, if we tested, say, 0, 0, then we would have 4 times 0 plus 7 times 0 is greater than or equal to 40. And, and so that would give us 0 is greater than or equal to 40, which is false. What that tells us is 0, 0 is not a solution of the second inequality, and so we would shade the other region, the region above the uh, second inequality. So now since we have a system, there's the understood concept of AND here whenever you see a system. And so when we have a system of inequalities, we only shade the region that satisfies both of the inequalities. So in this case, it must be below what I've drawn in orange and above what I've drawn in purple. And so I would shade only the region satisfied by both. And so that region is just this strip between the boundary lines. Part C, 
can the plant produce eight mowers and four rototillers in a week? Now, this drawing here is slightly different than what I produced. Uh, remember that the solution is only the strip in between those boundary lines. So eight mowers and four rototillers, so that would mean the ordered pair eight comma four. So if we find the ordered pair eight four in this graph, there it is, and it's within that bound, it's within the region of solutions. And so we would say yes, uh, the plant can produce um, eight mowers and four rototillers.